have mm-hmm. zero rights in our country. You right. have zero rights to anything in our country. Mm-hmm. Make yourself home. Right. You know, and it's our duty as citizens to stand up and say, wait one friggin' minute. Mm-hmm. No, you're not. Because I'm an American. You're not. This is my government. And the government, they work for us. Right. We don't work for them. So any executive orders are by law, no and void. No and void. Means nothing, people. Means nothing. He's just talking smack. That's all he's doing. Mm-hmm. And you have to realize that if you want to be heard, you've got to go to the polls. Or you've got to go to Washington. Or you've got to talk to your congressmen and your representatives that are in your counties, that are in your states. That's what they are there for. Mm-hmm. If you're not getting answers, get in your car and drive to Washington. And make sure that you go to Capitol Hill, that you talk to your representatives, that you talk to other states and other state representatives who will listen to you. Right. Rick Perry from Texas, for instance, the Republic of Texas. He is a great man. Right. He is a patriot. He is one of the finest men here in the U.S. Right. And he is getting screwed by Crazy Boy. That is one man, Governor Perry, Governor Rick Perry, that is one man that you can trust wholeheartedly. Right, and we got National Guard out there, Will Brady too. He put National Guard out there, and because he's he, he's because it's skin state law under state law, he can do this under state law under the Constitution, and the government is not doing that. And did you know also in North Dakota, South Dakota, and uh, Montana, Wyoming, they want to have drill here, drill now. Open the Keystone Pipeline. They're doing it. They're opening it. And they're starting to build it. They're doing that under state law. And the government, our federal government, wants to say, no, you can't. Amy, your reaction. Go ahead. You know, our our government wants to say a lot of things that we can't do this and we can't do that. You know what? Our government works for us. Well, we don't work for them. They can't tell us jack shit. Mm Mm-hmm. You know what? And especially if you're military or former military, you know what? You need to tell the government to screw themselves because, you know what? You have every right as an American citizen to do whatever the hell you want. Right. As long as it doesn't violate anybody's life or threaten anybody's life, you have every free right in the American Constitution to do anything you damn well want to do. Right. And Crazy Boy and his crazy staff can't stop you. Go find a lawyer. Maybe we all need to get lawyers and need to go after the government. You know, I heard that's what's being done. You know, that's the cool thing to do now. Mm-hmm. Well, you that's know? why we have the Senate and, and Congress just, just I'm telling everybody is, is hang on because we got because because we got Judy Ennis, as you know, Judy Ennis, we're going to go to Washington, we're going to make them squeal. And, you know, Mia Love, with happy, 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 she's going to make them happy, happy, happy. <laughs> well, Joni Ernst, I'm going to plug her, um, you know, from moment to moment from Iowa. Um, I absolutely have never met Joni. Um, I know hopefully at some point I will meet Joni. She's from Red Oak, Iowa. Um, she is military. Um, I don't know if she's still current active duty no, she's or if she's former military. She's former military. Really know. Former army. Um, I'm assuming she's still active duty. Um, no, she's actually former, she, former army. You know, her, ad, her ad was Make Them Squeal in Washington. And you know what? That slogan got national attention. You know what? I'm all for Joni Ernst because you know what? I want to see every last one of the crazy staff and the the crazy, the crazy bus, I want to see them all squeal. <laughs> you know, and that's exactly what needs to happen in Washington. They need to squeal because, you know what, there's some ticked off Americans. And we just need to stand up for our rights, people. It's time to stop being scared. Oh, you know, what if, and, you know, oh, ISIS, and oh, Muzzies, and you know what? They mean nothing. They're demons. 
Yeah. Nothing good brass won't take care of. Um, you know, stand up for your rights. That's what they're there for. American Constitution, Flamer can't do anything with the Constitution because, you know what, he's not American. He's not our president. He was not elected. He was paid to be put in that position. Mm -hmm. He was paid people to put in that position. He was not elected. It was a whole pre-qualified thing already. Right. Because money talks, bullshit walks. Right. That's what it's all about, people. And if you want to see change, you know, you need you need to go to Washington and you need to make the crazy people squeal. Mm. And, you know, I'm glad that Johnny Ernst, we love, in the many um, fine Americans that got elected, you know, I don't know, I, I know my personal home state of Iowa, but I know the ones that got elected. And, you know, you need to stand up. You need to be heard. That's why the American Constitution is there. That's why your state constitution is there. Your representatives, your governors, go to them. Write them. Uh, go visit. Go visit. And make them hear you and what you're concerned about. Mm -hmm. You know, or, you know, find on the internet who are the trustworthy Christian representatives who are representing our country um, out in D.C. Find the Christians on the internet, Google it, and see who the Christian representatives are that got elected, mm -hmm. and write them. Call them. Talk to them. Mm -hmm. That's what they're there for. Right. You know, and it would, this whole crazy disaster would never, crazy bus have, would have never started if the crazy bus would have not got elected. But Crazy Buff got elected, so we're having to drive the crazy, the crazies and the crazy bus down to Guantanamo Bay um, because that's what needs to happen. Yeah. And we need to put godly Americans, maybe even use our veterans, mm -hmm. use our veterans and put them in the State Department and the IRS and the VA and, you know, the one that should get is um, Colonel West. I really like him. Not saying he's the perfect answer, but he is a patriot. He is former military. Mm -hmm. um, I think he'd be a good, I think he would be good for our country because he isn't going to put up with crazy buff people. He's going to tell the crazy boss to load and go down to, you know, where they need to go and drop off the crazies, you know, and um, that's what it's all about. American rights, stand up, be heard, be counted, call, kick, scream, write, um, you know, pack <laughs> with ammunition, um, mm. protect yourselves, uh, stand up for your rights, stand up for your family. That's what it's all about, folks. Um, it's time to put the crazy bus to bed. Right. I, I want to let you know, too.